Hi, my name is Victor Ekbo. In today's video, I'll be creating this simple laundry um, flyer. Yeah, um, the size I'm using is 5x5 five five inches. That is the, the size I'm using 5x5 five five inches. My width is 5 and my height is 5. So, let me get started. It's just a simple design which I won't take much time. It's just a single image I'm using. So this is a new space, the new workspace. So I double tap on my rectangular tools to create a workspace which I'm going to be working in. Then I come over to this place and click on none to remove the outline of the rectangle. So the next thing I'll do is um, I'll duplicate this. I'll just move it up a bit like this and press my right key that is duplicated like that so I can change the color to green. So how do I get this deeper green? I come over to my uh, main green, let me just say forest green. I choose my forest green and I come over to my uniform field. So under my uniform field, I come over to my color plots and it will give me something like this so I can change the type of uh, color I want, how deep I want it to be or how light I want it to be. So this is how I got that particular shade of green which is this. So for this, okay I don't want the color to just be a single color so I come back to my uh, interactive field or you press G on your keyboard and you drag it like this just to make uh, two colors so i return back the green here and from this i can just tap on it come back to this place click on this uh, show color of yours and adjust its um, bit i just name it um, like this I just name it like that then i come over to my elliptical uh, fountain field What I did there was the the color was yeah the lighter one was here and the thicker one was in the middle but I don't want it to be like that that is why I make the lighter one to be in the middle and the deeper one to be at the other side so that is all what I did there just you just um, place it the way you would like it and that is. That is all for that. Then come over to my uh, image and drag in my image inside. And then I send some. So I drag in my image there. I can just rotate it like this. I can just leave it like this. And still push this up. Centralize it. I type on image, shift, tap on the background, and click on C on your keyboard to centralize it. Now for the laundry, come back to my text tool and say laundry. Care. I just gave it a random name. Control A, Shift F3. Let me zoom 
what I'll do is I come over to my contour, you tap on this small shape over here, it will bring all other options to you. So I click on my contour and choose my outer outside contour and it gave me something like this. You come over to this place and choose your round shape. So this is it, then I right click on the black contour and break contour apart or you say control K. So once you do that, once you do that you can see that the black is detached from the um 10 percent black so after that uh, let me just uh, okay let me still leave it to black first so on um, clicking on this i come back to control again then i drag inside like this just the, the side you want it to be you want it to be like this like this but i only want mine to be like this then i leave it and I right click again to break contour apart. Now you see that we have to contour there. So for the first contour, uh, which is um, closer to this place, uh, I change it to my lighter green. My lighter green. And for the second contour, which is the black one, I change it to 20% uh, black. Change it to 20% black, which is um, some, yeah, yeah, yes, 20% black. So I leave it like this and I can now group everything together. Control G on your keyboard. And I I still want to add one other thing. I just come over to my extrude. So for the for my extrude I just make it um, pop pop out a bit like this. Once I'm done like that, I can just this uh, is it. So after I've done the extrude, I right click on it again and break extrude group apart or you say control K on your keyboard. So once you do that, you see that your extrude is separate. So for this you can just um I can just make it um, a lighter group. So for this, because I don't want all this line, if you watch it closely, you see there. What is good is this see some line there. So I don't want this particular line. So what I'll do is I click on it and press Ctrl U, which is to ungroup on my keyboard. So once I ungroup them, uh, it will it will be some something like this. You see separately. But for this, uh, once I ungroup it, I'll come back to my weld and just weld it so that the black. So once I'm done with it, I can just group everything together. Control G. Just reduce it. Shift from the center. Then I can just move it a bit. For this, I will just reduce it in case. Okay. So I've written the name of. exists yet so I come over to my text again just like um, three dots and say you you leave it clean it so which is just um like your slogan it's just like your slogan so control A Shift F3 and I make it title case. And you can remove the board and make it um, it leak. Uh, okay. Let me zoom in. To see. Okay, for this, let me just make it capital. And I can change the color to. Um, deep yellow, deep yellow. So to get uh, centralized this, uh, I just want it to be on the same line with this. Which is after clicking on this, I click on my shift and tap on this, then click L on the keyboard so that it 
so if you allow it to be left so i just bring this up a bit okay leave it like this so we are almost there so after this i just duplicate this and bring it here like this edit it and see our services Provide which is dry services. Oh, sorry. Dry wash services. So you can start naming everything to offer. After that, um, control A, shift F3, and make everything title case. Okay, I can change it to um, white. Let's change it to white and. So for this, uh, okay, let me just add some bullets to it. So this is just some. Um, minus i'm just adding minus and space it's on your keyboard so that it should just act as a bullet okay and for this uh, let me make it small letter which is on lower case and go to it okay so after that shift this and l Once the 
the lighter one to be at the left hand side I can just increase this a bit uh, ok, a little bit this way so after that I just control page down to take it to the back of the of the image okay. Okay, I'm almost done. So after that, um, I just want to add little effects to it. I come over to my circle, press my shift and my control down to give me a perfect circle. So I leave it this way. I duplicate this like this and leave it here. Then I change it to a deeper one. Leave this one here like this and make it a lighter one. Then I can remove um, the outline for everything. Then for this, I add my shadow. I just create it like this, bring this down, change my feather to 10. Able to, so I'll be able to the greener one. So I can watch my shadow. line art and you wait for some seconds it will remove the background for you and you'll be able to change the color to your taste so click on ok you bring this here and you delete this so for this like this I can just drag it in like this and for this let me quickly do this also trace bitmap is low wow outline trace line art you wait for some seconds and click on ok and this is it you delete it and for this control U on your keyboard and I bring in my colors phone and the location and I delete this I can now edit this and um, change the, the colors and add the phone numbers the Instagram the Facebook and the location that I need so for the phone number I can just this uh, let me just contribute to group it and this I change to uh, 
green. This also I change it. Okay, after I'm done with this, Ctrl G, drop it. And for this, I change it to green. I just want the colors to go together. down while I drag I release and I change the um, the pen tool to 1.0 and for this I can use it like this and um, duplicate this here okay. so I can just type the address there 
So I'm just going to use a random address, which is five. I chose RGB already. So I'm choosing RGB. Wow. So I just go ahead to okay. Um, it's under PNG here. So I change it to JPG. Let me see. on jpg it was on png now it's on jpg so you can export as cmyk so that the color won't be too much while you print so guys this is how i created this particular design using corridor 2020 so if you like this video hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you are yet so so that you will not miss out of my next video so thanks guys for watching this to the end see you in the next video bye